Okay, let's then go straight to the other big story this evening, possibly the biggest story because this is unprecedented. A showdown took place in the Supreme Court, the highest court of the country, where the Chief Justice of India was in open court accused of corruption. Senior lawyer Prashant Bhushan's plea seeking a special investigation team probe into the medical college scam dragged the Chief Justice into the quagmire because Bhushan wanted the Chief Justice to recuse himself from the case alleging his involvement in fixing the medical admission case. The Chief Justice angrily responded, Prashant Bhushan stormed out and even the Chief Justice questioned his fellow judges move to actually have a five judge constitution bench look at the entire issue of charges in the medical admissions case. Our legal correspondent Anusha brings you a blow by blow account of what happened in the Supreme Court today. Cheering, yelling and name calling. This was the scene at the Chief Justice of India's court at the Supreme Court of India today. In an unprecedented turn of events at the Supreme Court, a five-judge bench led by the Chief Justice of India has in effect annulled the order passed by Justice Chelameshwar's bench yesterday. On Thursday, despite the objection by the Chief Justice of India, Justice Chelameshwar had referred the Medical Council of India scam linked to recognition of medical colleges to a constitution bench. The CBI has anonymously referred to sitting Supreme Court and High Court judges in the scam and Prashant Bhushan has directly alleged the Chief Justice of India's involvement. At 2.45 p.m., a notice was put that the Constitution bench will hear the matter. Prashant Bhushan minced no words and told the Chief Justice of India that since he has heard all the Medical Council of India cases and the CBI refers to a sitting High Court judge, he should recuse himself from the matter. That was just the beginning of an ugly spat. The Chief Justice retorted by saying his name appears nowhere in the FIR and Prashant Bhushan is not even worthy of contempt proceedings. After the lawyers present in the court argued how Bhushan flouted the Supreme Court norms and indulged in bench hunting, Bhushan says that despite his repeated attempts, he was unable to argue his point. The tipping point of the drama was when Prashant Bhushan yelled at the Chief Justice of India saying pass whatever orders you want to, you don't need me in the court. Lawyers present jeered at him and asked him to leave the court. Prashant Bhushan eventually walked out. Today at the hearing, while Prashant Bhushan walked out, there was a complete lack of decorum. The unsaid was set today. How some lawyers prefer one bench over the other, how the order of the benches change uh, on the same matter, uh, just because there are different judges sitting on it. All these matters today were said out in the open, in the public. Lost in the cacophony is the Medical Council of India scam, where a retired Orissa High Court judge was raided. The middleman names sitting judges of the High Court and Supreme Court. That matter has now been referred to a three-judge bench within two weeks. With Anusha Soni in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Joining me on my face off on that serious matter that now touches the highest court of this country, Prashant Bhushan, senior lawyer at the Supreme Court, Gaurav Bhatia, Secretary Supreme Court Bar Association, who is also a member spokesperson of the BJP. But I want to come to you, Prashant Bhushan. You in open court suggested that the Chief Justice should recuse himself from listening to the order on the medical college admission scam on the ground that an FIR had named him. Now the Chief Justice says no FIR has named him and it was wrong to drag his name into the allegations that the Supreme Court or judges of the Supreme Court were trying to fix a case as a middleman had alleged. Do you have any regrets of what you said in the court since there is no FIR that specifically names the Chief Justice or do you stick to your stand that the Chief Justice of this country must recuse himself from the medi medical admission scam because you believe that he is involved in some way? Uh, well, what I said was that uh, the FIR of the CBI says mm -hmm. that uh, <clears throat> there was a conspiracy mm -hmm. planning mm -hmm. as well as preparation to bribe the judges of the apex court that is the supreme court who were hearing this case 
and it is pursuant to that preparation planning and conspiracy that the CBI registered this FIR raided many of these people and recovered 2 crores uh, in cash among the people who were arrested is one middleman who was brought in from Odisha one Bishwanath Agarwal mm -hmm. as well as a former chief justice of Odisha Justice Kudusi yeah, former high court what judge, I yes. said what I told the court was what I told the chief justice was that uh, this matter involves the investigation of clearly the chief justice also because it says that the conspiracy was to bribe the judges dealing with this case and he had dealt with this case throughout he had passed at least seven or eight orders but there is no the specific of mention of him no, but there is no specific mention sir he is involved in the there is no the specific corruption. mention of the chief justice there is no specific mention yes, yes, of the chief justice in mentioned. the fir are you uh, are you yes, sort of suggesting that the chief justice of india was the Correct. person who was name. fixing cases No, no, I am not at all suggesting that. I am saying that the FIR says that the conspiracy was to bribe the judges dealing with this case in the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And Chief Justice had throughout presided over the bench which dealt with this case. And therefore the investigation would involve him as well. And therefore it would be totally inappropriate for him to hear this matter and therefore he should recuse himself. He should not even be passing judicial orders or hearing it on the judicial side nor even be passing orders on the administrative side to decide which bench it should be heard before all that the court number two had done was that it had said that this is a very important and sensitive matter involving the integrity and independence of the judiciary and therefore it should be heard by the five senior most judges of the supreme court what was wrong with that order? Why should heaven and earth be moved in this manner, in this extraordinary manner to undermine that order and then say that no, no, even though the investigation could be against me, I will still decide which judges are going to hear this matter. It's most extraordinary, most unseemly and will definitely undermine the uh, no, no, image, are, but, the but, dignity but Mr. Bhushan, of the apex court Mr. and will certainly create an impression yes. among the people. No, are yes. you saying are you saying that it is creating the impression yes, that the uh, that the chief justice of this country has something to hide? Is that what you are trying to say that the chief justice of India has something to hide in the medical college admissions camp case? Because if you say that, you will be guilty of con committing contempt, as the judges seem to indicate today. I I told the court that I am not afraid of contempt. I will say what I feel is correct. What I feel is correct is this that it was totally improper for the chief justice to have constituted this bench himself he should not have dealt with this matter even uh, on the administrative side if the uh, strictly speaking it was for the court number two mm -hmm. in this particular case where the chief justice is within the scope of investigation of the cbi to decide which bench should be constituted to hear this matter Otherwise also he had passed a judicial order in this matter listing this matter before the five senior most judges of the Supreme Court which is what needs to be done in a sensitive and important case like this involving both the integrity as well as the independence of the judiciary because if you leave the investigation in this matter right. in the hands of what is called the cage parrot under the control of the government it can seriously undermine the uh, independence of the judiciary that's that was the whole uh, object of the petition that was the only prayer in this petition that this matter should be investigated by an SIT uh, uh, decided by the Supreme Court and under uh, the supervision of a former Chief Justice of India and correctly in the fitness of things uh, Justice Chalameshwar ordered this matter to be listed before the five senior most judges of the Supreme Court why should that order be undermined by the Chief Justice because the Chief who, Justice who may says, himself, the who Chief himself Justice says the scope he has of the, the investigation because of, Mr. This, Bhushan, of this corruption scam? Because Mr. Bhushan, the Chief Justice says he has the authority to decide which judges will hear which matter. Justice Chalameshwar cannot decide, he will decide. I want a quick response and then I'll go to Gaurav Bhatia. The Chief Justice is saying, Prashant Bhushan first well, of all goes well, to court and says the FIR directly names me, which it doesn't, and then says that that why are you undermining the order of Justice Chelash Meshwar 
the chief justice says i will decide which judges here which matter the chief justice cannot decide in this particular case because that though that principle is generally true that the chief justice is the master of the roles and therefore decides which court which yes. bench will hear which matter but this does not apply to a case where he is directly involved he needs to recuse himself both We on the judicial as well as on the administrative okay. side there are any number of judgments of the supreme court which say that no administrative authority or judicial authority can exercise authority or hear a case or deal with a matter in which it has a conflict of interest the you say there is a conflict of interest respond to that gaurav bhatia because as a secretary of the supreme court bar association you and others have now targeted prashant bhushan you all have booted him out in the court the question is he is saying the chief justice of india has a conflict of interest in the medical college admission scam because according to a middleman who was caught there was an attempt being made to fix the case and because the chief justice was one of the judges hearing the case he could be someone who could have a potential conflict of interest so why are you then targeting prashant bhushan Uh, Rajdeep, I hope that uh, considering the seriousness of the matter, you will give me uninterrupted time. And there are few things that I need to ask Mr. Prashant Bhushan and share with the viewers. But I would first like to place the facts correctly because this is a matter that pertains to the institution which we all respect, revere, and serve. And I would like to first start by the FIR itself. The FIR will make it very, very clear that. there is no judge of the supreme court named in the fir 1 two there are no allegations against any judge of the supreme court and i am reading the line it says that there is a person called shri brishna tagarwal who claims very close contact with senior relevant public fu functionaries now that makes me ask that say if a person who is somewhere on the street makes an allegation against a high constitutional authority then would we not follow the law and would we not allow that senior functionary to perform his functions without any basis second the investigation is on and i think if the investigation will reveal some complicity of any person then i think there are procedures in law which will be followed now second i think it is also very important for the viewers to know that the college medical college in question what was the order passed by this bench the bench had uh, quashed the order of the alabad high court the alabad high court had given relief to a medical college so contrary to the claim made by mr prashant bhushan and the petitioners the viewers must know that i am reading from the order itself passed by this very same bench headed by the honorable chief justice of india which they said in view of the aforesaid we direct that there shall be no renewal of academic session 2017-18 so no relief was given so you are saying fact, that cases were not fixed the high court was set aside and now in open court the just let me let me make the facts rajdeep this is very important very serious and therefore please don't interrupt i request you now third and most important thing during the hearing itself today the honorable chief justice of india indicated that the high court judge in question there is a disciplinary proceeding as per the in house committee that has been initiated the questions that trouble me the masking mr prashant bhushan and i am sure we he will have some replies generally a mentioning is made when there is an urgency in the matter what was the urgency in the matter when the fir note this rajdeep was registered on 19th of september the first petition was filed on 30th of october 2017 after 40 days then it was mentioned before a bench headed Uh, by uh, a judge of the supreme court in court number 2 and the petition that was filed was on 30th but for 9 days the petitioners did not mention yes. they had an opportunity to mention this petition before the honorable cgi on the second on the third and on the sixth but they decided to do forum shopping and then mentioned it on the 8 now on the 8 
this is also very important the court number two directed that the first petition be listed on 10th on friday they file another petition which is not even numbered and on the 9th that is yesterday they make a mention within two and a half hours the second petition is heard which should not have happened because court number two in propriety sake should have said that this second petition is tagged along with the first petition will be heard by the same bench and heavens would not have fallen in 24 hours time when you waited for 50 days from the date of FIR when you waited for 10 days from the date of filing of the first petition why couldn't you wait for one more day and that raises the serious question of propriety of forum shopping and that is why the bar association came out strongly questioning that this way forum shopping should not be allowed in the, the Supreme point, Court of India which is you. the temple of justice you, and this is the main issue okay you made your point and I want to get Prashant Bhushan to respond to that Prashant Bhushan and the allegation will be made you are fishing in troubled waters you are using the PIL route to tar the reputation of the Supreme Court Chief Justice when the according to the FIR he is not named you are in a sense creating a smoke screen I want a quick sharp response sir to that no, I, on the contrary I want the uh, I want the reputation of the court its integrity and its independent uh, independence protected. That is why we moved the court saying that this sensitive investigation which is likely to involve the role of the Chief Justice and other judges of the Supreme Court who dealt with this matter because the allegation in the FIR is that but they the quashed the matter. Planning where is the evidence that they fixed the matter? And influence. Mr. Bhushan, no, 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 where is the evidence that they fix the case? Where is so the evidence that they fix the case? That. So, I am just. They quashed the Allahabad no, High Court matter granting that, uh, permission to this medical college. That they fix the case? Yes. So, this, this order is supposed purportedly dated 18th. The FIR is registered by the CBI on the 19th. Mm -hmm. But uh, when this FIR was registered and the raids took place and the matter appeared in the media uh, and I got a copy of the FIR on the 20th itself, on the 20th uh, afternoon mm -hmm. we took out all the orders passed in this case mm -hmm. and by the 20th afternoon by 4 o'clock mm -hmm. this order dated 18th had not been uploaded on the Supreme Court's website. This can easily be examined by any forensic examination that this uploading of this order actually takes place on the late uh, in the evening that is after 7 p.m. on the 20th after these raids had taken place and not on the 18th. Therefore at the time when the uh, FIR is lodged by the CBI and the raids take place mm -hmm. this matter this uh, it appears that no order had been passed had actually been passed in this matter. Now, uh, uh, so far Can as I the inquiry to that, that Gaurav referred to, yes. that inquiry was also instituted after the matter became a public scandal after it had appeared, all the uh, news about the raids had appeared in the media. Now, so far as the issue of forum shopping is concerned, yes. you see, I mentioned it no. immediately after the, uh, after the uh, uh, petition was numbered. Now uh, the petition was numbered, I think, on the uh, on, on the on the sixth, uh, on the fifth or the sixth, and we mentioned it at the first available opportunity thereafter. In any case, as I said, this was a matter in which the Chief Justice ought not to have exercised either judicial nor administrative power, and therefore, even otherwise, the, this matter needed to be so mentioned before court number that, two. Okay, let and me, court number sir, two sir, let me, let me correct, take it, uh, sir, our viewers will get caught in legal... Where the matter should be listed. Okay, I think both of you have made your point, but I'm going to give 30 seconds to you, Gaurav Bhatia, in conclusion. Do you at least believe there should be no, an investigation? Can I just point, Rajdeep? Gaurav Bhatia, do you at least believe there should be an investigation? A serious charge is made by uh, a middle Raj man who has been arrested by the CBI. Should there not be a serious investigation? investigation is it not possible that judges were fixing cases should there not be investigated Rajdeep, when uh, a high court judge is also involved no no uh, quick response 
Rajdeep, first of all, as I told you that their judgments, yes, yes, I am responding. First of all, let me tell you there are in-house procedures and constitutional uh, officers are to be protected, especially when it comes to judiciary. The investigation is on and investigation would involve everything that is brought before the IO. But I just want to point out one more thing. On 29th of August, the very uh, there was a bench headed again by the Chief Justice of India, even before the FIR was registered for the same medical college. And they indicated and they had set aside the order of the High Court. 29th of August 2017. Regarding uploading of orders, generally it is a practice in the Supreme Court. It takes one or two days. So I have shown you two orders where this medical college which had benefited from the High Court order, that order was quashed by the Supreme Court, bench headed by the CGI. Second Rajdeep, Prashant Bhushan ji has not answered when there was one petition which was to come up for hearing on Friday. What was the need, the urgency to file another petition not even numbered properly mentioned and then it was taken okay, we had the half hour's time it was propriety that this second petition should have been listed with the first petition Let and me... you cannot make baseless bold allegations without any substance against the head of the judiciary this is not an issue of conflict between two personalities it is about saving the institution lawyers and Sir, judges the serve. institution and that must be Supreme saved. Court of India Sir, and the respective high courts okay you've made your point the institution must be saved by ensuring that everyone has full faith that the judges of this country do not fix cases and therefore there must be a full investigation without name calling but there must there be an is investigation the allegation that judges are fixing cases the charge has been made by a middleman who has been caught that the judges were, fi were fixing that's cases the whether CBI they are not or not deserves an investigation I that's all Prashant Bhushan in the beginning of the program I must end there thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.